It was all her fault. It was all her fault. No, ma'am. I got to strongly disagree. Hey there. <clears throat> hey there. It's your girl, Aisha, Gay Geek, XX Chic, and Young Asayo, Aisha Mida. Welcome back to another reaction to All of Us Are Dead or Chigam Uri Hakyonen. We're now on to episode eight and whoo, ciao. This, this, I love this show. I really do. But every episode I feel the anxiety mounting because I'm like, what fresh hell are we going to deal with now? <laughs> the last episode we ended with our group in a very precarious position. We saw that, uh, Queen M, I think is his name. Uh, the bully has made his way to the group. He is absolutely dead set on killing Chung, Chung San. Not just him anymore now, because obviously now he's got an enemy in Suyuk as well, because Suyuk did toss his butt out a window. So we know now that he's pretty much unkillable, unless my guess is you got to cut that sucker's head off. Like I can't think of any other way you could kill him or do what he did to the other zombies where he just cuts their carotid and they just bleed out. And then with the cop, he is now stranded on the rooftop with that crazy vlogger because his so-called partner took off with the two children, leaving him there because he was just not about saving anybody other than himself. And our group in the archery area is still stuck there because they tried to make a break for it. But unfortunately, the injured guy is just making it impossible for them to move as a group. So everyone's kind of in a, you know, not so great position at the moment. Oh yes. And Onjo's father is on his way. So Lots of things happening still. I feel like we're going to get closer to a convergence point though, because we are now getting closer to the end of the season. And I feel like we got to have at least one of these groups meet up before everything ends. So ready to get into this episode. But before I do, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. And if you like things here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. It just helps me out a lot with the algorithm, which really it means a lot to me. And if you really like it here, please hit the subscribe button, join the fam, be notified when I do more reactions to this show as many, as well as many others. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. Same goes for you. Please like and subscribe if that is something that you're into. I would appreciate it very much. All right, guys, that out of the way, let's get into the episode right about Shigum, AKA now. I was about to say she's not gonna go and get help, but she has no reason to try. Look at her seeing all the people, all the justice that's been served. He deserved what he got. I was right. Wow, did everybody in this school bully her? <laughs> like, that's all she's seeing. Oh yeah, she did say she was gonna burn the school down. Well, I mean, it'll help, but think. But it does definitely make the situation for our people upstairs rather imminent, because they can't go back now. Thank God he's being distracted, I guess. Oh, you know what? She just might give him a little run for his money because she's got beef. You asshole. I hope you get bit. You are going to die. Scream! You're going to get bullied at your next school too because you're a dick. That karma going to come back for you. Don't worry. Not going to happen. That's right! She's like, you remember how you bit my arm, bitch? Kill him! Kill him! Exactly. Snap it. <laughs> and that's why you keep Namra! That's why you keep Namra! Queen Tings! Isn't the school just gonna turn on the sprinklers? That's like one room. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Because of the fight. Why couldn't that have happened a minute sooner? <laughs> Just one minute. Hey, hey, come on. Yeah, do you see them? You dickhead. He's not going to say anything. It's going to come back to bite you. Don't worry. Even if it's not from these students, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You know who it is. Leave the door alone. Chong san. Oh. Thankfully, she's like an alarm now, like a sensor. <laughs> we have to keep Namra with us at all times now. She's become vital. MVP. I'm glad that she didn't turn, honestly. If she did, like I said, you know I was in that episode. She'd have to go. She was a problem, but it looks like she's got it under control. So this is good. She's like the evolution you want with the person you want to have it. The other two are just too damn damaged. It's interesting because right now she's feeling kind of high. 
But I think when it hits her that literally everyone might be dead, that's when it's gonna hit her. Cause like, if she's still conscious enough to care, humans don't do well alone. We can't live alone. Good theorizing. Yep, he's putting it together. I think she kind of is, but she seems to be a different level though. We don't know yet. She's got the strength. I don't think these things are the same. I mean, his connection with Unjo is like lifelong, but I understand where you're coming from. But also you need her. She literally saved your asses back there. Let's not forget. Yes. He's right. <laughs> Namra could carry all, all of y'all from the looks of things. Don't you worry about a little piece of wood. <laughs> Oh, I like him. He's like, pat yourselves on the back, kids. Good work. Chalanda. Shh. Could you at least try to open the doors quietly? Or do anything quietly? Can you shut up? Since your ass shouldn't be here in the first place. Why the hell are you here? Thank you. One more. Thank you. She toss your ass down there. This is true. They are covering it outside. Who the hell is this now? Moment down. Yeah! Delivery service. Get your asses in here. Oh my god! I'm so sorry! I take back everything I ever said about you! Yeah? You wanna live? You better figure out a way to jump with that busted ass leg. You wouldn't even be here if you <laughs> if you'd listened. No, we can't look if he's not willing to jump. Let we gotta go. We ain't got time for cowards. We ain't got time. If that little boy who was he and his pants an hour ago can do this. Your ass better figure out a way to jump. Oh shit. Sorry, this bus is for non-infected only. You're gonna have to find your exits to the left and right. Non-infected only. We're just sticking up for her now. <laughs> Look, just because she doesn't get good raids doesn't mean she's a dummy. Someone should be blowing slowly. Exactly. Okay, at this rate, it's gonna be tomorrow before that thing lights. <laughs> Don't pray. <laughs> Not too hard. This is where you need to slow down because if you go too fast, you will blow out the spark. Damn, you needed to have at least one smoker with you. The one time a smoker would have been helpful. Do not show a light right now. <laughs> the fact that she was worried about her reputation right now. <laughs> kind of love her for that though. She's like, hmm, should I let them all know that I smoke, which is like so not attractive? He did. I, I have to take back what I said. Shit. Oh god, I hope she doesn't get mad. No, don't go out there, don't go out there, don't go out there. I don't trust her. She's crazy. And I don't want her near the baby. But also, you should have been looking where you were driving. <laughs> Multiple times, actually. She didn't answer your question. Oh no, why are they shooting? Who is this? But you should have shot her though. I think it's best you to try to do that too, actually. The way you don't know anything about anything, sis. Like to make assumptions about people because you jealous. Um, the whole world at the moment, actually. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> he made up his own song? Or is that a real song? It sounds like it's made up. Hey, y'all are harmonizing quite nicely. Y'all could become like a post-zombie band or something. What 
he needs to sleep? Why would he need to sleep? Ma'am, you are not finding any of the right notes. Ah, oh, the videos that no parent's ever going to see because I can see this chick deleting all of that. Don't you dare smile the way you would have killed him down there if you wanted to. It's so frustrating because I loved her character so much in Squid Game and now I'm just like, why are you still alive? And where's Miss Park? They do need water desperately though. Do you think she can make it up there quietly? They have to let her in if she's got food. Oh my God, they got whole loaves of bread. What is this room in the music room? Yeah, you raggedy bitch. You happy? Or are you just mad that his grandma's poor too? I hope you rot with guilt. Rot. Yeah, I hope he haunts you for the rest of your days. Exactly. I wish she'd been a zombie when she gave her that slap. Knock her jaw right off. If you want to have any sort of a redemption path, you need to accept that, acknowledge it, and attempt to show people that you are not the piece of crap that you've been all show long. Oh, honey, he's not really there. He's never leaving you forever for the rest of your life. I can't feel sorry for her. I'm sorry. I do believe she feels guilty, but until she actually shows that she's genuinely trying to like make amends, she can stay there. Scared of rejection, so reject somebody else first. <laughs> Everyone's just staring. It's like, um, <laughs> I thought this was a private conversation. Someone else have a little crush? <laughs> Cupid is not the person you fall in love with. Cupid's the one who arranges. Okay. All right, we're going to finally see what happened to Miss Park. I'm telling you, she sacrificed her. That was not young Sue. He was outside. You don't know. Knew it. I knew it. I knew he, I knew she would have either saved, sacrificed herself to save that cow or that the cow would have just sacrificed her for herself. Yeah, they already know she's bitten, so they don't care. Yeah, for the rest of your life. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, she premeditated that shit. Don't give me that she was scared bullshit. Uh-uh. Sorry, Teach, you're wrong on this one. She probably won't, she'll probably not even say that to her grave. I mean, I feel like you do need to survive since she died for your ass, but you was a real one, Miss Park. She wasn't even worth it. It was all her fault. It was all her fault. No, ma'am. I got to strongly disagree. I can't even give her the teen pass because she premeditated it. It wasn't even necessary. I would have said like maybe if they was running and she just pushed Guksu, I would have been like, yeah, that's some bullshit because it was in the moment. But she planned it. She went, wiped it, put it in her pocket like a weapon ready to use. Uh, uh, premeditated. She can live in jail. Boy did nothing. Grandma all on her own now. Don't play this sad music for her. No. The thing is, though, she's going to figure out at least eventually, I hope, that anyway, she can't stay there. Even if the rescue team comes, if she stays in there, they're not going to know she's there. So at some point, even though she's got enough food and water, probably last her a couple weeks. And also, like I said, if someone comes to rescue, she'll end up being stuck there. And I feel like they're just going to bomb the hell out of that school once it's all said and done. I'm scared about Queen M. Is Queen M here? I'm so scared about Queen M. That I'm here. I'm about to die. I was about to say, I wouldn't say peace just yet. She's probably thinking she'd be alive if she was in Seoul right now. <laughs> Sorry, hun. I'm... Mm -hmm. Fuck! Damn it, I knew it. Oh, 
Knuckle. Not anymore. Lost my appetite. That's all. I don't care. Sorry. I mean, I'm a little sad because the food was almost on the way. Nyan dead dead. I mean, that's her karma. I didn't I say like if she just left Guxu alone, but that's your karma, girl. I mean, who knows? She might end up like him though. They're all like, really, bitch? <laughs> They're all like, really? <laughs> Name someone random. Just for fun. Can someone create a distraction? I can't handle this anymore. Okay, I see you, Joseph. Look at his face. <laughs> Me too. I didn't think he'd have the balls. They were like, mm, we don't think so. <laughs> We've seen this for years. You're the only one who doesn't know. Does that look like a joking face? There's not even a smirk, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Just got awkward. <laughs> he said what he said. Okay. <laughs> this drama's amazing. Yeah, I was about to say, that is a little uncomfortable in front of everybody like that. I would have been very embarrassed if I was her as well. <laughs> I'm all for confessions. That's sweet and all, but not in front of everybody. <laughs> I, I do. I do admire the chutzpah. He's felt this way. Clearly, he's known for a long time. A lot longer than I thought. Well, damn. I kind of get it, though. She really doesn't feel the same. It is awkward when you know that person likes you. Because then it's kind of like that whole, you know, you got to be worried now. Like, everything that you say or do is going to make you... You know, like make them uncomfortable. Can she date now without making it weird? So it's not like a bad thing. Like he had to take that risk anyways by telling her, but I get it. <laughs> Damn this asshole. Don't you have anything else to do? <laughs> but then you just asked. But that's the other thing too. You kind of feel like crap if someone likes you who's been like your best friend. You have to be like, oh, I don't feel it. That hurts. And you don't want to hurt the someone that you care about. The son of a bitch is about to grab her, isn't he? I can feel it. Get away from the wall. Y'all know, you now know that Kinam is out there and you're just. Do you hear him? Wait a minute. Isn't Namra supposed to have super hearing? How did she not hear this shit? Now you pick it up? Run! Okay, or stare at him. Close your eyes! No, 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 please! No, please! Can lightning strike this ass? Oh, I hate the fact that you ended the episode here, you bastards, every time. Ah, oh, I should know the better now. I should know. I should know. All right, guys, that was episode eight of all of us are dead and oh man he looks like he actually got his eye that time he might have i don't think he's gonna blind him but it's it's definitely gonna be we we don't need you to be down one sense at all right now you need your eyes your nose everything working right now damn it i mean i suppose you'll look badass with a with you know with one eye but sucks i knew i knew that if he survived this he probably wasn't gonna be unscathed but i didn't want it to be like this this sucks I hate Keenam. I hate him so much. It's not fair. Why does he suck so bad? I mean, I'm kind of thankful he killed Neon. Yes, I am that person. But mm, what do we got to do? How many flights? Can we kick him off the roof? Will that kill him? Will that be enough? <laughs> Fourth floor didn't do it. Oh, no, I feel like with him, you're going to have to like shoot him in the head because he's already dead, I guess, technically. He must be dead, technically. But not really because he's thinking. I'm still so confused about this. I guess they said it's a new virus, right? It's a whole new virus is what the, the science teacher said. So we're dealing with something that's completely unknown for the most part. Because the scientists really only studied what happened to his son and 
what happened to, um, what you would call the first girl that got bitten by the rat. So he doesn't really know how the variants work yet. And he doesn't have time to, you know, study them, obviously. But oi, vey, vey, oi. This episode, what do we get? Well, we kind of got, like, I've been asking what happened to Miss Park for a second now, but I pretty much figured she was gone. Like, if she wasn't with uh, with um, Nyan, she definitely had to be gone. And she would have tried to find the kids if she'd come across them at this point. So sadly she died and she died exactly the way I predicted that she'd be trying to protect Nyan because she was that kind of teacher. You could see she definitely was about trying to protect those kids. And, you know, unfortunately it was, you know, protecting Nyan who's pretty much useless anyways. Seriously, I'm not saying that, you know, all of us would know what to do, but literally like she didn't even try to like fight back or nothing. She just kept running and screaming and being a zombie alarm. And of course, Miss Park did what, you know, heroes do and put herself in the way of whoever was attacking her. Although we did see that Nyan was kind of having a bit of a breakdown because she was seeing Young Su with everybody who was coming at her. But I don't feel bad about that at all. She did not I repeat, she did not need to do that. She did not need to take him out. There was literally no reason for that. And I'm sorry, all the stuff that the teacher tried to say to her to try to make her feel better. No, ma'am, that was premeditated. It was absolutely premeditated. She thought about that before she did it. She wanted him gone. She even had time when she went in the room to think it over to decide whether or not she was actually gonna go through with it. And she still went through with it. So no, I'm sorry, Nayan, you got what you deserved. That was karma. You did something nasty to somebody, something nasty happened to you. That's the way it works, boo-boo. So sorry. I don't feel bad for you. I'm not mad that the school bully got, bully got you. I kind of wish Guxu had gotten you, though. That would have been nice if he'd been the zombie to get you. But fair enough. You out. Maybe. Now, I say this. I'm being very premature here. It's very possible that she survived. We now know that people who are bitten by Enam don't necessarily die, right? So we got Sis. Namra was bitten she's just kind of a, you know, turned into a kind of an evolved level of zombie, right? She's not as bad as he is, but she's also like not turning either. But we don't know if the same's getting, mind you, it looks like he like took a real chunk out of not Like he only got one little bite on Namra, whereas we saw, from what we saw, I should say, we didn't see all of it. With Namra, it looks like he ripped her whole damn throat out. There was a lot of blood on the floor. So I don't think she's coming back. <laughs> I mean, if she does, she's going to be missing a whole half of her neck. But if she did survive, that'd be great because then that's not going to be, it's going to be another person. Because remember, oh no, that's, I'll get to her. But yeah, that'll be another person anyways who'd like to see him dead. And I think they need a little more help. I mean, Namra's super strong, that's for sure. And she won't be, I think she, I don't think she can be further infected, but I don't know if she's as strong as, as Ginam or stronger. We have no idea. But I'm a little mad at the plot armor there. They did a little bit of a plot armor, plot hole situation because Sis was, like I said, she was hearing someone puking two levels, four levels down. She was able to tell sounds and smells and heartbeats and stuff like that. But she didn't hear that man crying in the damn wall for like 15 minutes. She didn't hear his heartbeat or, or any of that stuff. Plot armor, plot armor. They obviously wanted some drama, but I'm just saying she should have heard that long before he got to the top. That was some BS. But anyway, I guess we needed some more drama because our kids were just, you know, enjoying entirely too much time without having someone almost die. But anyhow, so yes, he's now on the rooftop as we see, and he does have his hands on Chung San, which is what he wanted. He wants to torture him before he kills him, as we can see. And I think, like I said, unfortunately, we heard Chung San screaming, so I think he did get his eye to some degree. I don't think he's gonna lose it, personally. I don't think he's actually gonna lose the eye, but he might lose the vision in the eye, which sucks, because I hate that Ginam will have that mark on him forever. But anyways, we needed an antagonist, and he's playing the role to the fullest. I don't know how we're gonna get him off this rooftop, though, because as we can see, he is crazy strong. And he now we know like, you know, hitting him, beating him does nothing like you. They're going to have to get him off the roof, like literally shove him off the roof. That's like literally the only way to get rid of him. They can't risk going back into the school at this point either. Um, you know, because again, the lock's on the outside of the door anyhow. So it's not like they could keep him out um, from coming down there anyways. So yeah, I don't know what's going to take. Like they need to kill this guy. There's, that's for sure. Like they, they no longer have the option of trying to avoid him. He has to die, but I have no idea how that's going to happen. They don't have any weapons up there. I don't think he has his knife anymore. I didn't see it, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to take bashing him. Like I, I, it sounds horrible, but I feel like they're going to either have to bash his head in or again, throw him off the roof and hope that they have enough time before he regenerates to get someplace else that he can't follow. But I don't know. Things aren't good for our guys. That's for sure. It's definitely, they're in a very precarious position that's not looking so good for any of them. Other than that, we saw that it, with the cop and the vlogger, thankfully the guy who ran off, I have to, have to eat my words. I was calling him a coward, but it turns out he isn't so bad. He actually just went and found a bus. I was hoping though. I was like, please Lord, don't let, don't let him be that person who gonna leave them babies to, to fend for themselves. 
So thankfully, he did have the right idea, though. The bike was not going to work for all three of those adults and two babies. So him actually getting a much more efficient um, mode of transportation makes more sense. It makes more noise, of course, but it's much easier to keep zombies on the outside of a vehicle than it is on a bike. But uh, as we saw, though, uh, they ended up hitting the zombie girl and they don't know that she's a zombie girl. I don't know with her. Like with her, she's still a bit of a question mark, right? Like I know she's basically against all the students. Like she said, screw that school, screw the students. And I'm not totally, I, I know where she's coming from. I, I should say I get where she's coming from. But I don't know how she feels about the rest of the world at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about, of course, the girl now being in their custody because I think they're doing temp checks when they get to the quarantine. And I think she's going to be, actually, we don't know. I was going to say she might have a lower body temperature, but we already heard on Jose that uh, Namra, her temperature didn't change. So they might not be able to catch her on temperature alone. They need her in one way because they need to know there's a variant that's very dangerous. But I'm just hoping she doesn't bite anybody before they figure that out. Because obviously we saw the person that she bit turned. So she, unlike Ginam, she bit the teacher and the teacher turned full on. So it's like a virus, right? We don't know exactly how it's going to affect everybody. Like they're similar, but they're not the same. But I feel like she's going to end up at the quarantine center. Along with that coward who lied and said that there was no one surviving and saw them and let them stay on the rooftop. But I feel like he's going to get to the quarantine center and she's going to show up and set all hell loose in there. And he's going to end up dying. And I'm going to be like, see? That's what you get. I feel like it. Karma's been doled out pretty nicely so far in this show. Then we, of course, had our archery group and not much, again, very little on them. Like they're very peripheral at the moment, but I'm thinking they, they're going to have to come in clutch at some point. I'm really, I oh know I was going to say, I'm surprised they're not hearing all the noise the kids are making on the roof, but they are inside another building. So never mind. We did see Anjo's, da Anjo's dad, but it was very, very brief. He looks like he's mapping out a trail to get to the school that'll probably maybe hopefully be the least dangerous for him since he is still alone. I'm just glad he got medical attention so that he is at least not worrying about infection or bleeding or anything like that. But again, he is still just one man. And now that the cop and the other guy are not going to be in the area anymore, I'm a little worried that he may not make it to the school. We got a little bit of bonding. Of course, we had the confession with, you know, the teen drama stuff, right? The confession of uh, Chung San that he likes Unjo, which like I said, everyone knew anyways. I feel for both of them, honestly. Uh, I know some people might feel like Unjo is acting some type of way, but if she doesn't feel that way or doesn't feel that way yet, then it would be very uncomfortable. Like most of us don't know what it's like to have a BFF that's, you know, someone who you think is like you're, you know, you're like someone maybe even bro-like who suddenly turns around and says, hey, I, I'm actually, I like you and I've liked you for like 15 years or whatever, right? Like that's, that's a lot to take. And if she doesn't feel the same way, which I think she's, I do think she cares about him. I don't know about if she has romantic feelings. It's fair. It's fine if she doesn't for the record. I think it's perfectly fine. It does happen all the time where those relationships are one-sided. But she also might be in a place where she doesn't realize how she feels about him yet, right? She has, or she hasn't thought about him in that light yet. But I don't want her to feel like she's got to be obligated to like him now that he likes her. And I think that's what made the whole situation awkward. Like she said, like, I kind of need my BFF right now. I don't need to be thinking about if every little thing I do is going to be construed by you as some type of romantic or non-romantic gesture. I mean, honestly, she should know that if he's had this crush for almost, what do you say, 12 years, that he's already fine. You know, like he clearly is dealing as best as he can, but I get it. Now that she knows it's going to make everything she, you know what I mean? It kind of makes you overly self-conscious about everything you do. And I think also she's thinking that if she does kind of even start to care about him on that level, on top of everything else, that it's just going to make this situation, which is already crazy hard, even harder. But I don't, I don't uh, think that Chung San did the wrong thing. I think it, you know, considering the situation they're in, Getting that kind of stuff out into the open is not a bad thing since they may not have tomorrow to do it. We'll have to see since we already had our first kiss of the season already. I don't know if we're going to get another one that might make it a little too, a little too adult for our eyes, maybe. But anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next episode.